Good day, everybody. It is Klaxon here, and if you guys enjoy this video, I hope that you will subscribe for more Attack on Titan reactions. I'm so excited because the final season of Attack on Titan is starting today. We're going to watch the first episode of the final season, and I just can't believe it because for me, I've been watching this show since high school, like since the first year of high school. So I was like 13, 14, and now as you guys are watching this, it's actually going to be my birthday, so now I'm 21. So that's pretty crazy for me that I've been watching this show for this many years. Like, I started high school, now I'm almost graduating university and Attack on Titan is still going and it's the final season, all that sort of stuff. And so yeah, I hope that you guys enjoy um, what we're doing here today. And so let me explain, because this is different than other videos that you've seen on my channel. If you watch my Ruby reactions or my anime reactions to like Madoka and Full Metal Alchemist that are going on right now, I am switching up the format a little bit. So first we will have the intro. Hello, that's me. <laughs> that is the intro. And we'll talk about, uh, you know, what happened last episode, what we think is going to happen this episode in the intro. And I'll say hi all that type of stuff uh, and then you guys will see my reactions to like the big moments like key moments my best reactions I will put them in the video uh, basically and then after that we will do an analysis and so if you guys watch my Ruby analysis videos we will basically be doing that so some screenshots and then talking about things that happened in the episode all that sort of stuff but I think that this may be a more effective format than just uploading the full timer reaction but if you guys still want to see the full timer reaction you guys can check it out on Patreon Patreon, it will be uploaded there. And so basically this is like big moment reaction and then talking about it. Whereas patrons, if anybody does want to see the full reaction with the timer and sync it all up, uh, you guys can check that out. That will be available on Patreon. Yeah, I hope that you guys like this format. Uh, let me know, give me some feedback on it and I'll make it better next time and all that stuff. I'm sure it'll be good, but there's always room for improvement, right? So yeah, uh, I hope that you guys enjoy and let's get into it. Yeah, it's just a bunch of kids fighting in this war, bro. Okay, so they've been in the war for four years. He doesn't remember? These are his friends. Probably. What? He's... Titans! Oh my god! How did he see that, though? He, like, connected? He thinks he was flying around, so he connected with someone. This girl looks a little like Ymir to me. I don't know. The final season. Holy shit. Holy fuck, guys. Yeah, so the other side of the sea. What's going on on the other side? This is what's going on. War. All that stuff. Oh my god. But it's not your power to use, sis. Oh boy. Are they just sending them to die? I think they are sending them to die. Oh my god, but I love these kids and they're gonna kill them. Oh no. And see, they know it's it's suicide. How can they do that? But I mean, that's why they don't care. They don't see them as equals, right? Oh my god. Ah! See, and they're so terrified. I feel so bad. See, he's shaking. Oh my god, it's literal suicide. Are they on... Oh my god! They literally have bombs strapped to them! How can they do that? That's fucked up, man. Aw, I love her! Go do it, girl! I believe in you! See, she wants to save her people! Is she, yeah, is she really more valuable than 800? But see, she's psychologically manipulating them, right? She's like, if you love 800 more than me, well, <laughs> right? But he's like, no, you're not that important. Aw, oh, see, she's like psychological manipulation. She like fell and it's like, oh, but how can you shoot a girl who has fallen on the ground? How could you, you know? See? It's all- Oh, she's so smart. I love her so much. I die for her. It's only been one episode. I would die for her. She's so cool. Yeah! Good job! You did it! Run, 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 run! Run, Gabby, run! No, Gabby! No! Run, Gabby, run! No! Gabby! Yeah, go, go, go get her! <gasps> Oh! 
Look at the looks on their faces, man. Like, usually that's a face on the Titans, but now it's a face of the humans, right? So yeah, I guess the Marleans were retreating because they're, like, bombing the fort. Oh! They all turned in. They all had Titan juice, and he just activated them. Oh my god. This is actually crazy. Look at the looks on their faces, bro. They're just like, what the fuck? Wow, so they're literally, they are bombing them with titans. This is such a cool fight! Oh my god. Wow. They're just bloodshed, though. Like, epic bloodshed. Bloodshed of epic proportions. All right, guys, let's move on to the discussion now. I've really enjoyed this episode, and I think that it's nice to see basically what the rest of the world is doing, you know? Like, last season, we found out that there's a world outside the walls and what that world is like, and so now to sort of open this season with that world and that this world has been at war for four years and all the stuff that they sort of talk about in this episode, like, I think that it's just really cool how the world has just opened up in this way, and now we're seeing the results of it. And so we start with Falco getting saved by, I think his name is Colt, uh, and so he's getting uh, rescued from the middle of the field, and it's interesting because you have, I don't know, I feel like I've seen that, he's sort of talking to a bird, and you know, the bird's flying away, and he's like, fly away from here, like, this is a dangerous place, right, and he's, you know, very kind-hearted, and we see that throughout the episode, but it reminds me of something, and I'm not sure if that's a parallel to, you know, something with Aaron, or, you know, our main characters back home, <laughs> if you want to call it that, I'm not sure, but I feel like I've seen that, like, bird flying away type of, you know, cut before, if that makes sense. But yeah, I really liked the scene of them getting him back. And what I thought was interesting was, you know, Colt is trying to say, like, we should do this. We can't do that. We can't dig any further. And this guy's like, you can't. Like, you're calling the shots. And so we already see, uh, you know, the pre-established ranking in the military, right? We see that the Eldians all have the armbands, and we see that they are their own, like, fleet, and they are very dispensable and stuff like that. And so, you know, an Eldian giving me orders? Like, it was very much that, and I really like the world building in that. And then we cut, uh, we cut after that whole discussion over to uh, Falco and our free friends. And I didn't catch the name of the blonde girl, I don't think, but Gabby's the one in the middle, and then we have, I think his name is Udo, um, but I'll have to look again. I think it'll say it, uh, in one of the screenshots that I got. So I think that this is funny. They're all like, like, are you okay, dude? Like, do you know what, do you know where we are? Do you know what time it is? Do you know that we've been in this war for four years? And so he says something interesting, right? He says, wasn't I flying around with a sword just now? Like, whoosh, and there were titans that I... So here's the thing. I am intensely curious about this, like insanely curious. And we know that when, you know, someone touches a titan, sometimes there can be like a memory transfer, right? Like, we see that with Aaron in Historia, and I don't know if it's just a between-them thing, because I think Aaron touches someone else and it happens. Or maybe he just touches Historia. I know he touches Historia for sure. Like, he kisses her hand, and he gets, like, memories, and, you know, they touch and they get memories, right? And so I wonder if he could have touched someone on the battlefield and have gotten someone else's memories, because this is really weird for him to, like, know this, because he says, like, wasn't I flying around with a sword just now, right? And that could be, like, oh, ha, ha, fighting titans with a sword. What a weird dream, Falco. Like, it could be, like, a little, like, teehee for the audience, but I don't think it's a teehee. I think it's foreshadowing somehow. I'm just not sure with this kid yet. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not sure how we would get this unless he did touch someone, you know? Like, unless it was a memory. Like, how do you have a memory of this, right? But I think that's interesting, right? And so this is the battle's climax, and we get all of this exposition about there's this, uh, fort, and we have to take down the fort so we can get to the ships and take down the ships, and then we won. Like, that's basically, uh, what she explained. So we gotta take down this place, and then we gotta take down the ships that are past this place, you know? And so they're obviously helping to fix him. I really like these characters. I like Gabby a lot. Um, I like her especially. You guys would have seen that by my reaction, but I think that these are immediately lovable. I'm not sure about the blonde girl yet. Like, she seems to be, like, the quiet one, right? Uh, you know, we didn't get a lot of her this episode, but I think Falco and Gabby, like, Falco just seems like he has a really kind heart. Like, Gabby is very ambitious. She's a girl on a mission. I really, really like her. I, I feel like that blonde girl will be an interesting character, though. I haven't, like, totally discounted her yet. 
you know, um, I kind of like Udo, he has a cool moment later, uh, when, you know, Falco's like, translate for me, and he's just like, he's like looking away, because he understands what the guy is saying, and the guy is talking shit, and we'll get into that, uh, a little bit as well, and so, yeah, like, he's just like, like, uh, he's very, like, passionate about, like, using, I guess, the Eldian fleet, because I think he's the one saying, like, it took those, like, I think he's talking about, like, the Marleyan fleet, like, the, the Marleyans or whatever, it took those imbeciles four years to control the seas and they lost it right so he seems to think like that their fleet is superior and I like this piece of exposition like why did they send the warrior candidates to the front lines and so then we find out that all of them are candidates to get the titan juice basically that's what it is and they already have two titans they have uh Gillard and then they have I think his name is Peck Peck is the one with the black hair that has like the mask and like the stuff on his back and then Gillard is the one with the mask and the blonde hair but I don't think that we've actually seen their human forms because I was confused at first I was like oh Colt is that titan but no it's just some other blonde guy but I don't think we've seen the other blonde guy yet like we haven't seen their human forms they've always transformed off screen and then jumped on and so I wonder if that's because we could recognize them in some way like I wonder if that's a little ooh, we're hiding how they look like in humanness you know the plan to conquer paradise needs a major player and so right that's still the plan and so in the episode I was feeling pretty conflicted because I was like well wait a minute I love these kids but these kids are gonna be fighting against our other kids right like ultimately these people are going to try and like fuck with Aaron and Mikasa and like the walls and all that stuff that they're going after the wall society you know what I mean and so when you think about it like that kind of fucked up not gonna lie you know like that we're sort of we root for them and we get to know them this episode like these kids but these kids are gonna be against us soon and that's crazy but I wonder I feel like Gabby I feel like Gabby's real special you know what I mean I feel like that you know she'll hear Aaron out and she'll be like okay yeah like I wanted you know like freedom for the Eldians because she sort of is very passionate about all that in this episode so I wonder if she would be more willing to side with Aaron and Mikasa in the future and stuff like that, right? Once they all find out the truth, right? Because the history that the Marleyans have been telling isn't like a complete history. And we find that out uh, in a season three, I believe. And so that's pretty interesting. And so yeah, the success of the Armored Titan. So I'm gonna be 100% real with you. I did not recognize Reiner at all. Like, he looks really different, Um, in my opinion. I don't know why. Like, I just, I knew that the Armored Titan, because I was watching through the episode and I was like, wait a minute, isn't the Armored Titan Bertold and his friend? Like, I was just like, wait a second. And then um, they mentioned it again on my second rewatch. I was like, oh yeah, they said Reiner and Zeke. How did I miss that, right? But I don't know. He just looks different, bro. Maybe it's the beard. Do he have that before? I don't know. He just looks different to me. He's, uh, he's seen a lot of shit. I guess that's it. Because he does say, like, you know, like, uh, basically, like, walls, there are walls, there are more walls, I'm sick of these fucking walls. Like, I think that he's just exasperated that no matter where he goes, it's just, like, a lack of freedom, you know? And so I, I don't know. I hope that all of the Eldians like, fight against the Marleyans by the end of the show. You know what I mean? Like, I hope they all realize that they're just being used and they should all band together, like, with the Titan powers and, like, go against them and stuff. I don't know. Anyway. Uh, and so, like, really, Gabby? Seems, sounds like you're saying none of us come close to you. And I feel like, I really like their relationship here. Uh, I just feel like she has the ambition. Like, she's the ambitious one, and we see that throughout the episode, obviously. Right? She says that she's prepared, and that's the thing, right? And so she want, like, she wants to do this so badly. And so to shoulder the fate of us Eldians and to slaughter that island of devils who've done nothing but make us suffer. And so, right, they blame the people on the island, right? Which is totally fair, but I wonder if she'll change her tune later. You know, I feel like she could change her tune. I feel like I just love her so much and she's gonna, like, she's gonna be against our kids, but I, I but I love her and I, I don't know. Like, I'm feeling very conflicted because I know that these are technically probably gonna be the bad guys, right? 
you know, the functional bad guys if they're going for uh, parodies and all that stuff. But, like, I love them. <laughs> How could they do that to me? Um, but, yeah, and so I really, and to prove that the Eldians left in this world are good Eldians, right? And so they want to prove to the world that they're not, like, subhuman monsters. And it's just, like, really sad all around when they're just gonna continue getting used. You know what I mean? Like, complying with the Marleans, like, that's not gonna earn you your freedom. And I feel like that may be a theme for the season. I don't know. I just, I sort to feel that. I feel like they'll realize that working with the Marleans, like, isn't the way, and they all need to, like, band together and, like, stop the oppression and stuff. But yeah, um, she looks like Ymir, so I posted some pictures of Ymir. It's just the hair, how the hair sits, and the eyes. I don't know. She just reminded me of Ymir. I don't know if that's a thing. I don't know if it's gonna be a thing. I just wanted to bring it up for us anime onlys to discuss, right? Because obviously I'm sure, like, people that read the manga, they already know. But, like, I don't know, like, her hair bits just look really, like, similar. And, like, the eyes, I don't know. Maybe they just have similar hair bits. Maybe we're supposed to be reminded of Ymir, but they aren't related or whatever. I really like the conversation here, and I just think it's interesting because it says, The perceived hit to Marley's military might is what sparked this war, putting Paradise Island operation on hold. Uh, what is it that makes our motherland of Marley so great? The power of the Titans, right? And so I really like to see that whole conversation. Like, they're really afraid to lose any more Titan power, right? And, like, I don't know. It's such an interesting relationship because the Marleans obviously have this, like, oh, like, you're a bunch of devils opinion. And even the opposing side does, too. Like, that guy um, that Falco saves, but yet they're so like, strong that they're necessary for, like, Marley's might, and so it's really transparently, like, they're just trying to keep you guys oppressed because you're more powerful, right? And all that stuff, and so I, I don't know, I just want everyone to be free. <laughs> is that, is that naive? I just want them all to be free. I want them all to revolt against, you know, against, like, Marley and all that stuff. That's my opinion, but yeah. Our nation won't last long if we keep losing them. So that's what I'm saying, bro! Like, your, your nation is, like, built off the backs of the people you've been oppressing, but anyway. Then they talk about sort of, like, sending in the, this troop of 800 El Eldians, and, you know, he's sort of like, well, what's the matter, Colt? Right? Because Colt is obviously, like, disturbed by this, but you see that these people are basically going in, uh, to a suicide attack, which is pretty crazy, and, like, they're shaking and terrified, and it's just so sad and like really like morbid and you see like the suicide bombers and you can't even like you can't even see their eyes just because like they're so like full of fear like I like when anime does that like it hides the eyes I think that that's a really cool shot but it's just so distressing and a disregard for human life and it's just so I mean what's more distressing in this episode is all the people that were you know forcibly turned into titans we can imagine like to basically just be bombs like some of them didn't even survive to eat anyone which is like you know you know what I mean though right like they didn't even survive to eat anyone like some of them just died on impact like those people were just glorified weights to bomb the fort and all that stuff they weren't even you know they weren't even people they weren't even fighters they were just turned into the titans to basically drop and squish some people and like it's just distressing very distressing yeah so Colt, as the chosen successor of the beast titan learn what it means to lead already so that's interesting and so we find out there's Gillard, there's Peck, and Colt has already been chosen to be the successor of the Beast Titan, but it's the kids, Gabby and Falco, and I guess the other two, that are in, uh, candidation? <laughs> that are candidates for the Armored Titan, I suppose. This guy is already the successor for the Beast Titan after Zeke, but does that mean that Zeke is on his way out? Because I think that they talked about, like, oh, well, you can only be a Titan in, like, 13 years and then you'll die or something. Like, it limits your lifespan, so I I wonder if Zeke is like, you know what I mean? Like he's been a Titan for 13 years, like he's on his way out, you know? Uh, and so they've already chosen the successor, but like Reimer, like he should be okay. I mean, he's kind of dead this episode. I mean, I don't think he's actually dead, but like, I don't know, like they have candidates picked out, so... I just feel like he must be on his way out soon, and he didn't look so good this episode. And so it would be really fucked if, like, Reimer, like, actually died here, and then, you know, Gabby gets the armored, uh, Titan power, and then, like, they go back, like, to the walls and to Paradise and all that stuff, and it's, like, this character that I loved and got so attached to, she's now the bad guy, because obviously Reimer was a bad guy. So, <laughs> when we consider all that, I really like that learn what it means to lead already, because he, you know, 
and like he'll be very elevated right because they have the red armbands and they're obviously like leading this whole thing they're in the blimp he's leading but what is he leading for like this horrible nation you know and so yeah um i do like i like gabby's initiative I like that she has this whole plan. I think her plan is fantastic. I really loved this part of the episode. And so I love her psychological warfare. And that's another thing that Gabby has that, you know, that I really, really like is I think it is manipulation. I think it is intentional because she's like, it's true. I'm exceptional compared to Falco and the others. Like, there may never be another warrior as talented as me. Like, you must love me so much that you think I'm worth 800 soldiers. Like, it's very very much like that and I really really like that I really like it how she sort of uses that psychology like against this man right and so she's like if I succeed we won't lose the whole unit of 800 Eldians and uh you lose uh just one promising candidate and then seven hand grenades and I like if you think I'm more valuable right she's like so like psychologically manipulating this guy I just love it uh and yeah so I swear I will prove to you I'm worthy of of inheriting the armored titan right and so that is rhymer right and so like oh gosh i love you so much gabby please don't hurt me i think that she's worthy i'd love to see it we love to see it uh but yeah so this is like such a plan so she basically like strips down trying to look harmless defenseless i, I like just you know like an innocent girl the guy's reluctant to shoot her because this is a little girl how can you shoot her but she like uses that against them right she's like Oh, like, and then she just falls. I think the fall was more to cover her because she knew that they were pointing the gun at her, but it's also a little psychological thing. Like, look, like, she's limping, right? This poor, helpless girl that just fell on the floor, right? It's very much like that, and I really am enjoying that sort of aspect that she plays people so well. I love this. So, you know, she's getting shot at by this guy, and, like, Falco just runs in to rescue her. Like, story for the ages, true love. I, I like that. I think that there is some love elements because he's the only one one that blushes when she starts stripping. Uh, and so I, I don't know, I feel some shipping going on. I could ship it. I could. Uh, and so I like that Gillard is obviously like protecting them. So this is where things get really fucked up. Um, and they have these people that have already been like pre-sedated, I guess they just haven't turned into Titans yet. Um, and then you see like Zeke and Rhymer there in here, but we'll get to that. I do want to read this. Information available for public disclosure. Marley, a military dictatorship. That's what I'm saying, sis. Like, y'all are supporting the dictatorship. What if we all just stopped? You know, what if we stopped supporting the dictatorship? Following the Great Titan War, where the hero Helios led them to victory, Marley was revived as a formidable military power, utilizing seven of nine titans as warriors. Oh, okay. They are using warriors in armored titan interchange changeably. That's interesting. And so yeah, when they say they're warrior candidates, I guess they're just candidates for whatever Titan's available right now. And it just happens to be the armored Titan that is going to be made available soon, if you want to put it that way, right? Marley conquers uh, enemy nations with their overwhelming strength. In addition to their warriors, Marley's army, navy, and airborne forces assist with trampling their enemies. So I thought that was really interesting. But yeah, so they consider the Titans as warriors, and they're all in warriors training. I guess that that's what's going on. Right. Uh, so yeah, this must be Peck because at first I thought that it was the same Titan. I didn't realize that there were two at first on my first watch. Um, I thought that this was just Gillard, but it seems like that, uh, this is both of them. And so I guess that this one must be Jaw because I don't remember what they say. They call them Jaw and something else. I don't quite remember. Um, but yeah, I guess this one must be jaw because you guys can see his jaw. I really like the mask. I think that's really unique and I like that they strap something to him. I think that that's really cool. Uh, and then we cut back, you know, after some destruction. <laughs> I'm not screenshotting everything. Obviously, I don't want this video to get taken down or whatever. It's just screenshots. It's not footage. Hopefully that they don't give me any issues. This is clearly fair use. We are having big brain discussion time <laughs> right here. 
He's in no shape to fight us anymore, and so Falco is obviously trying to, you know, help this man follow the rules of war. I think that they say that, you know, the laws of war, all that sort of stuff, but, like, this guy is not having it. And so, yeah, so Udo, like, just looks away. He's just, like, looking away. I do not see it. Like, he's the embodiment of that meme because this guy is basically, like, swearing at him in his disoriented state. Like, this guy's on the cusp of death, but feels the need to tell them, like, how much like they are devils and how horrible they are and so that is pretty fucked up then we cut back over here after after some uh, and we uh get all of the humans they are jumping out of the plane we see Reimer and Zeke and obviously Zeke does his thing and turns all these people into basically human bombs they destroy some stuff eat some people and like this is just such a full circle moment like to see these like people on the walls and they're getting eaten by these like titans and it's just I don't know for me that was really like chilling and crazy um and yeah so like this guy's like our Marley and ancestors were eaten just like that and I'm just like eh. and then you have Reimer he's reminiscing on the good old days the good old days of the walls am I right <laughs> and so I thought that this was sort of interesting because he's just like walls here walls there I'm sick of this shit right he's sick and tired of walls right and yeah he looks so different is that just me I don't know maybe I don't remember the last season as well as I thought I did he looks so different but yeah he's having a flashback obviously this is like oh boy guys like this is Aaron I don't even think Aaron's here that may be Picasso over here but you guys understand what I mean it's just like oh guys this is our first look at our main characters I feel like we're not checking in with our main characters for at least another episode I feel like next episode is also gonna be about Gabby and Falco and like all of them but yeah, I really like that scene, like, they're sick and tired of walls, because the walls of the fort are reminding him. And I was just like, oh, that's cool. Uh, and yeah, so we see something that pierces his armor. I wonder if that'll be important later. Like, I wonder if, you know, they could get access to these guns sometime. That would be kind of helpful. Like, again, for Aaron and, and all of them, that may be a, a, a helpful uh, weapon, but I don't know. I wonder if they will, like, come up later. I feel like they spent so much time on them that it wasn't just for this episode. Like, they were establishing that there are weapons that can pierce through the armor, and I feel like that that's important, in my opinion. Uh, and then you have Gillard. He's coming to help you know, the gang's all here, why don't we, <laughs> why don't we die together? I mean, Reimer's really the only one that's really, like, severely injured. He loses an arm, but he also gets kind of, you know, fucked later, and we'll talk about that, because I don't think he's dead. I feel like that would be a weird way to kill him off. I feel like he's not dead. So I'm not gonna show the whole, like, screenshot of the fight. I don't really have anything else to say about it other than it was cool, it was hip, it was fun. Uh, with their fleet destroyed, the Mideast Allied Forces signed a peace treaty with Marley, and the war spanning four years ended with a Marleyan victory. But as the world learned that an era of Titan domination was coming to an end, Marley was pressed to obtain the founding Titan as quickly as possible. And so, yeah, when you look at Reiner over here, I don't know if he seems okay. I don't know. I don't know if he seems okay, sis. I, I feel like he's not. So, with that in mind, I wonder if, like, that'll be, like, the next, like, thing is that Gabby will get, like, Reiner's powers and then it'll continue, you know, and she'll kind of be the bad guy, if you want to call it that, right? Because obviously, like, the Beast Titan and the Armored Titan are opposed to Eren and Mikasa and Armin and all that stuff, and so I wonder if Gabby, like, is gonna be our enemy, if Gabby and Falco and these children that I immediately grew attached to, <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I think that now it's sort of setting up, okay, we're done here, let's go to Paradise, right? And so I feel like that that's really cool, and so I think that it's basically it. So they say oh no but I'm not entirely sure why they're saying it they're seeing something and their eyes go like that and they're very scared but I'm not sure why and I wonder if it's because the titans at the fort are coming towards them now because that's what I asked during my reaction I was like okay but how do they get rid of the titan like how do they clean up the titans you know what I mean because some of them died on impact but there are certainly some still alive and so I wonder if I wonder if they now need to clean up and kill the titans that were at the fort you understand what I'm saying? Like, how are they cleaning up those, like, titans that were killing their enemy, obviously? But yeah, they said, oh no, but I'm not sure what they were saying, oh no, at exactly. Uh, and so maybe we'll see that next episode. I'm not sure. Uh, thanks to the incredible bravery of the Marley army, Fort uh, Salva has uh, fallen at last, all that stuff. So this guy's buying a newspaper. I feel like I'm supposed to know who he is. 
for some reason, like, I feel like I'm supposed to know that this guy is, you know, whoever, but I don't know. I don't remember. So let me know if I'm supposed to know. Like, if it's something in the manga reveals later, like, don't tell me. But if it's something I'm supposed to be like, oh, that's, you know, like, that's Jonathan. <laughs> like, oh, like, that's like, you know, whatever. Like, that's Dave. I don't know. Like, I'm just saying I feel like I'm supposed to recognize him, but I don't know the character anymore. It's been a minute, guys. And so if we're supposed to know, go ahead and tell me. If we're not supposed to know, don't tell me. Anyway, that is basically it for me. That is all I have to say. Our discussion was worthwhile. I think it was fun. I really enjoyed doing it. And so I don't think that I would really separate them. This would just be attack on Titan, reaction and discussion. And if people want to see, you know, the reaction, they'll watch the reaction and then they'll leave. Not great for watch time, but I don't really care. I'm enjoying how I have done this today. So uh, I will listen to you guys' feedback though next episode. And yeah, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Remember that you guys can see the full reaction on Patreon if uh, you want to see me uh, sometimes be confused, but sometimes have big reactions as well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys.